What's your name? Uh, Jack. Gene Evans. Jack. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Pendulum. It's the whole shaft right there. That's that is beautiful. I thought it and was too. And you won't find any more like that. When that's you know, if something happened to that one, that's it's losing yeah. three minutes time. So, you if you uh, if it's losing time. Uh, in other words, let's say if it's slow, you know, losing time, mm -hmm. then you would want to go up towards the ceiling, and that will make it shorter. The bob, as you go up towards the ceiling, mm -hmm. sky, and that'll make it shorter, and that'll make it swing faster. Wow. See, if it's slow and you turned it one time, it would advance it 24 hours. That's how sensitive make these are. Make a little benchmark across there. You know, say now right here before you start to adjust, and that way you've got a little mark there to go on that shaft to answer to. Mm -hmm. Because it oh, it doesn't work. Well, here's the uh, I'm just saying if that key is original, but that's that's an old timey type key, which is really great. But anyway, there's a ratchet in there. Hear that click? Yeah, click, click. If that spring in there was uh good which it is if and that ring one two three four five okay what you do is take this hand right there always in the middle because you could break a hand by like it if mm -hmm. it's old take the our hand and this little short hand slips deliberately see and never wind this one backwards because you'll break a little pin loose uh, you, these type of clocks, they always have to be forward. My uncle told me that you, you can't wind right. it. Right. Yeah. So now this should run six o'clock. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> so re reach right here and turn it sideways like it. Get the feel of it. Get the feel of it, yeah. Just that yeah, just, no, just back and forth. There you go. Just forward? Yeah, deliberately. Okay. Yeah. See? See, that slips on a shaft. You know, so, and you know, that's, that's the way you do on that. So, seven, now put it on seven o'clock. Can he go backwards with that one? Yes, yeah, on the hour hand. Yeah, all that is is on a set uh, sleeve Sleep, right there. Okay. It's like putting a ring on your finger. As I was saying there, as me as a clock collector and repairman, or maker, whatever, which one comes first, I love your office particular clock in particular because it's it's untouched as far as it's not never been stripped it's got the original everything is original uh, completely on that and that's what I like is um, you know the uh, just untouched over the years key and uh, Gene you said that if this key is not original to this clock yes that this key is maybe as much as 200 years old. Every bit of it. That's a revolutionary type key. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I take it back. It's an S. S? S? It's no. either an S or a 3. That's e okay, but anyway, if it's S, it's, it could be a Sessions clock, 1903 up to 1903, or it could be in a Seth Thomas, which Seth Thomas BST, but the shape and style is really revolutionary days because that looks like like a radio tire thing. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you like it because I've got a radio here I was going to give you. Right? What now? He's giving me this. Yeah. Well, what do you say? I've got, I've, Thank you. I always said you got another one. No, I'm just kidding you. <laughs> Wait, this is a uh, this is my shop. Wow. Oh, that, that's big. <laughs> and it changed straight down as you go. Right here. Sure. 
your, your, see that weight? It's already on the ground. Won't go no further. And working in clocks, always be conscious about your sleeves because it could snag something, causing it to go to the ground. Make sense? Your clothes will get you in trouble. So feel the flick of it, that ratchet. Yeah. That's what I was talking about winding. You know, you can feel it. Now that's a thrill. And you can put your right hand up here if you want to. Okay. And just, just keep it going on up. That's right. Now do the same way. There you go. Now ain't that something? Wow. So the now do, you, now do your left side. Okay. See how easy that is? Now take your right hand and start pinning Just make the finger go just like that and let go. See? Look at that. Wow. You just wound a very famous uh, Alexander Willard. That's his brother and nephew's uh, Willard family. They go up now hundreds of thousand dollars worth of clocks in America. They're, they're very, especially the banjo clock. Uh -huh. The one day, eight days more powerful than one day. Uh -huh. And it took me 50 years to get a hold of an eight day clock. That's how rare they are. Now, who is that? That's Chauncey Jerome. He made the first brass gears in 1830. Where was he from? from Connecticut. So he was a, an American. Oh yes, Connecticut and is your first states up there in all uh, early history of clock making. Yeah, cuckoo clock. Did the bird actually come out and back yeah. in? Yeah, really? yeah. Yes, a little spring living rut. Uh, wow. Out of that same blue book over there, I used to read over and over and just read the same article. I would love to see an eight day, let alone own two of them. Yeah. I have two today. This one and that one right there that I'm working on. So now this clock, does it have a face? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's about the ring or something. Yeah, there it goes. yeah, see how heavy and bulky these oh, weights my are? Oh goodness, those are the weights oh. for that clock. Yeah. That little clock is... China, four inch bell. Oh, this is a big clock. Can I open it? Sure. Yeah, wait a minute, you got to turn it sideways. Okay. That's oh, all original. Yeah. Now, that's, what you, that's the same works that you wound. Yeah, that was original. A label on that. Wow. That's a pendulum. See the lead bob? Uh -huh. Oh, that's lead? Yeah, you can make those. Wow. And I made the, the hands were missing, and I made them off of original over there on the left. Call yourself a clock maker unless you make every aspect on it whatsoever. And I don't order out, I'm talking about old stuff. I don't order, there's nowhere to order this old stuff out of it. You either hand make it or you do without. And some of it is wood, right? The it's gears. 99 and 9 tenths. Uh, just one brass gear in, in, in the clocks. 1996. That is a Steinway. Yeah. I've got a, si I've a, a cousin. In Birmingham. Best piano in the world. Yeah, that is actually. Supposed to be. Uh, what would you say, like, uh, Steinway is to piano what Stradivarius is to violin? Right, but. Uh... See all these hammers? They're cold, and I've got to make a spring in there to bring those back. Now he is Victrola. crazy about I these. Love, I love Victrola. <laughs> Tommy, so Uncle Tommy's got oh, one yeah. of those, right? Big horn on it too. That's kind of, I got my butt tore up in the new Sentinel. I was talking about my daddy there. I tore up one because I was his age. and yeah. I'm a little bit old. I think I was 13. You think that's good? Yeah. Oh, that's old down yonder. Now let's see. We had to oh. give her a start. Don't drop it. Okay. There you go. You'll break you. 
That's what you got. Wow. And if, if you want a loudspeaker, turn that. He's the one that fascinates me. Yeah, that no, Sparkin. Sparkin. Yeah, Sparkin. Wow. Called well, Sparkin those days. There's no other tournaments. This is amazing. Now, if you had one of those, boy, that's, that was big, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, they had a big horn. Yeah. Lower, you know, more <laughs> that, that, that. My that, mother didn't yeah. either. <laughs> but I came. It's beautiful. I mean, it's the way it, it, I mean, it, it's so simple. But... So simple. <laughs> but it's not. It's, it's, wow. So simple. Yeah. It, it beats an iPad, don't it? Yeah, it really does. Spring, like clock springs. So. Yeah. Show them the volume, Jack. That's the volume. <laughs> that is great. Be careful. I forgot I had that record. If you remember anything else, dust particles are harder than brass gears in the air. The particles of dust is harder than any brass gear in, in a clock. Wow. So dust is your number one destroyer on the clock. Wow. <laughs> napkin holders like you know what I'm gonna do with I've made my car door handles out of out of this kind of wood and yeah. uh, my handles I've made three sets until I was satisfied but uh, that's it amazing just, it, uh, that's that's my pride and joy I've got about six bands goes with it and I love to hear so start to bother to notice. Now that is the There's, backing on the That is a tree. That's that wide. Wow. But that if is, not wider. Yeah. It's probably five foot wide, you yeah. know. Whoa. Yeah. What do you reckon that is? Pine? That's pine. Yeah. That's back then they were huge trees. Nowadays you would see little late six or eight inch pieces in there. That's segments. all one grain across. Yes, there. that's all one layer off of a slice into a tree. Made by Resaw, what's called. You said you thing. said you redid all of Sergeant York's Every clock. One of them. Yeah, grandfather clock that hadn't been How run long in ago? years. I was last uh, last winter. Is he still alive? No, he died in '64. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, but the family. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, Andy's oh. 80 years old. And they was all here at Tennessee Theater, and they went out to eat with me, and took them out to eat. You know, family after they was through John Rice and all of them was through with it. Can we see your music shop? What did you do, yeah. Mr. Ammons? It's the most wonderful mess I've ever seen. <laughs> um, I've got a copy of this. This is a ratchet. It's all pure solid. Ain't that something? Didn't you get a chance to... Uh... Now, do you work on violins or...? Yes, I can make... I can make... Well, you want to hear anything? Or uh, let's see. Uh, Country music? I love boogie woogies. All right. Play a little boogie woogie. Fast or slow? Fast. Let's go fast. I not played a long time. <laughs>
<laughs> Clap. That's fabulous. <laughs> Walsh, you ever heard of that? Love that. Regrets I stacked the cards last night 